Henry was a puffer fish, a splendid fish was he. He frolicked in the ocean, the bright and spangly sea. But Henry had a problem. Now guess what that might be? For Henry was a friendly fish, but deadly as can be. Henry he was spiky, so he swam around alone. He only had one special friend to talk to on the phone. Jeremy the octopus would call him every day. He loved that little puffer fish, and this is what he'd say. Henry, you have reached a point when something must be done. You never go to parties. You don't have any fun. You're right, he said. Oh, Jeremy, I knew that you would see. Although I am a puffer fish, there's so much more to me. Jeremy the octopus said, "Henry, you must go to a cave beneath the ocean that no one else will know. I know it won't be easy, but you have to make a start. Beneath those deadly spikes of yours, you have a gentle heart." Now in this spooky cave, he found a massive piece of rock. He swam around it cautiously. He wasn't fond of shock. I wonder what I'm doing here. How I can reach my goal? This is my fishy turning point. My dark night of the shoal. Suddenly he realized exactly what to do. He rubbed himself against the rock all day and all night through. The morning sun shone down upon the strangest sight of all: a shiny little puffer fish with no more spikes at all. He frolics in the ocean. He's the toast of the Barrier Reef. When interviewed on radio, he's witty and he's brief. I'm glad I had that lonely time when I was down at heel. Whenever I see a spiky fish, I know how he must feel. Jeremy is never very far from Henry's side. His happy transformation fills the octopus with pride. He used to be unpopular, but now he has a ball—a friendly little puffer fish. <laughs>